Hi, welcome to Sports Picks. I'm Peter Loshak. It's week seven in college football. We are doing our weekly call with Steve from collegefootballwinning.com. The game we're going to cover right now, an interesting one that's seen a lot, seen a lot of line movement, UNLV and Hawaii. Steve from collegefootballwinning.com. It's week seven in college football. How did week six go? Are things uh, in full swing there at collegefootballwinning.com? It's good. Good question, Peter. At collegefootballwinning.com, as you know, we are a company founded on making our betting recommendations really against the spread using sets of algorithms. And we call those algorithmic sets our formula. This is the longest we've ever gone, the latest we've gone into a season without releasing our formula. And you've heard me say this for a few weeks in a row now, that we're waiting for our internal numbers to align and be consistent and predict, therefore predictive. Hmm. So we think that based on what happened in week six, we think that our numbers are now aligning, we're seeing consistency, and we think they can be predictive. We are giving it one last week, this week, we believe, before releasing our formula betting recommendation. So we think that will be week eight. So this might be, in all likelihood, we hope, the last week that we are not releasing a formula betting recommendation. Very nice. Very nice result, Steve. All right, so UNLV and Hawaii is the game we're going to cover right now. Uh, the line, obviously, has taken a big move, right? It opened at five. Now it's up to eight and a half or nine. The total also dipped down about uh, three or four points. And Hawaii, you know, they've got a new coach, a new program, and it's definitely paying off, at least against uh, the lower-level teams, right? They got a big win against, uh, against uh, I think it was Nevada and San Jose State, teams like that. They're really doing well against and, uh, and they're covering spreads, and UNLV certainly falls into that category. They lost at home to Idaho. They did get a nice win at home against, um, against Fresno State, though, so UNLV, kind of a mixed bag. Not sure what to expect from them, but Hawaii, in general, is a team that I think is uh, things are looking up for when they're playing lower-tier teams, which they are here. Right now, the line is 8.5 or 9. What's your take in this game, Steve? Yes. Good introduction, Peter. Yes. Uh, the, first of all, you know, to start this year, this is not the same Hawaii team that we've seen under Norm Chow in previous years. So this is Nick Rolovich's team, and he is putting his stamp on this team right away. So any statistics you want to use, you know, from the past Norm Chow years, I say when it comes to these betting statistics, I really think you need to throw them out the window mm -hmm. because this is a different team. Now, within that Nick Rolovich team, there is a difference from the start of this season to where we are right now. And one of the biggest differences comes on offense, and it's with the the now starter, Drew Brown, who has been the starting quarterback the last two games for Hawaii. I'll give you an idea. Before Brown was the starter for Hawaii, Hawaii's offensive average this season was 380.3 yards per game. That's total offense. Now, with Brown as a starter, 498.5 yards per game. That's a 31% increase. Yet, by the power ratings that we use, we try to use certain power ratings, we have a line that uh, attempts to mimic sportsbooks lines. So by those power ratings, it looks like the sportsbooks have increased in that time. So this is um, two games going on the third game with Drew Brown as their starting quarterback. Their power ratings have gone up 11.85%. So it has not matched their offensive output and the defense has been relatively stable. Now, you might object to these, the two games, the statistics I'm giving you, by claiming that, well, Hawaii has faced inferior competition since Brown took over as starting quarterback. And I say, let's use as a case study, let's examine two defenses, Arizona and Nevada. All right, two teams, these are two teams that Hawaii played in consecutive games. Arizona, they played before Drew Brown was their starter, and Nevada, they played for uh, Drew Brown's first game as a starter. Now, Arizona and Nevada, it's, it's perfect for us, or it's, it's as perfect as we're gonna get in this imperfect uh, sports betting world. Both Arizona and Nevada have nearly statistically identical defenses, okay? They're both giving up about 457 yards per game of total offense versus FBS competition. So when Hawaii played Arizona, Hawaii put up 429 yards of total offense and it took them 81 plays to do that. Okay, so 429 yards, that is below Arizona's average, giving up 457 yards uh, per game. The next game Hawaii plays versus Nevada, similar defense statistically. In just 58 plays, nowhere near the 81 they had against Arizona, in just 58 plays, Hawaii puts up 566 yards of total offense. 
that is a 31.93% increase. So here we are looking at, I think that that is a relevant case study to show you that versus similar defenses, this offense is very much different, much improved under Drew Brown. UNLV, for their part, also improved uh, under Tony Sanchez here. This is an improving UNLV team. But for their part, for UNLV, they're down three starting wide receivers, Peter. Three starting wide receivers. And they're using a backup quarterback. It's redshirt freshman Dalton Sneed, tough kid, young, and he's completed just under 38% of his passes. Under 38%. He threw four. A grand total of against San Diego State last week, nine yards. Nine. So, and, and I'm not trying to blame Dalton Sneed for this entirely. Uh, when you have three starting wide receivers out and you have a complete stud wide receiver who is pretty much the only guy left as your starting wide receiver, he's going to be double covered. And you know you can do that. So Hawaii is 2-0 and in the Mountain West straight up. Nick Rolovich has this team believing in their own greatness and he is restoring very quickly the tremendous pride that Hawaii football once had. This, to me, Peter, is a classic late-night Hawaii game. It also happens to be Hawaii's homecoming game. Talk about a time to show your pride. This Hawaii defense will face a one-dimensional UNLV offense. Again, not the fault of Dalton Sneed, but this is a fault of, of circumstances. Down three starting wide receivers, down a starting quarterback. They're probably, UNLV's probably going to play two. They're two backup quarterbacks in this. And they've taken w at least one defensive back, and they've converted him to wide receiver just this week. That's how thin they are at wide receiver. So my conclusion, as of right now, Peter, and it could change between now and kickoff, and this should be the last game on Saturday night, uh, tomorrow night, of the college football slate. I like Hawaii right now. You can get them at minus 8.5 pretty easily. And if you're here in Las Vegas, you can even get him at minus eight. Wow. Very, very convincing argument, Steve. Yeah, it is a split line, eight and a half or nine offshore. I might tail that one. That's a, that's a great argument. Sounds like a real down spot for UNLV. And they're just going to go in there, get blown out and then go home and try to pick up the pieces. All right. Steve from collegefootballwinning.com leaning up uh, Hawaii right now, minus eight and a half. We'll see where it closes. Thanks so much, Steve. Talk to you again next week. Thank you, Peter. Go to sbrodds.com. Browse, compare, and shop live odds available at top online sportsbooks.